Hi, this tutorial is to teach you how to place an order on the um, Premier Designs website. So you'll want to log on and then you'll want to go to ordering products, place order, and then jewelry show order. If it's your first show, then you'll want to go, um, actually, yeah, you still go to jewelry order. Sorry about that. Um, individual orders would go here, the Serva store, a catalog show, sample jewelry, a certificate order is when you've earned a certificate, an award bracelet and charm order. I've never actually had to order that. It's always been directly sent to me. Um, any discount or new line order and then replacement exchange, which I'll have a separate training for that. So let's go to jewelry show order. And if it is your Actually, how I'm trying to see how to do a I don't see anything for training show. I'm assuming it's because I've already done mine. Um, but you do have to click somewhere if it's a training show. It would not be regular jewelry show, and then personal jewelry show is only um, the ones that we've been doing lately for the 30 year anniversary. So I'm assuming up here it'll say uh, training show, and you would click that. Now this is very important, the show date. You want to select the date that the show was actually on. This is very important for different um, specials that we may have that is date specific. So the show, um, pick the show date. Then you want to add the hostess. And you just go right here and add hostess. And I'm just going to put my name. Oh, okay. Actually, let's just put sample Sally. You would put an email address. You would put a phone number. And then you would have to put an address for the hostess. So you could tell I have toddlers. <laughs> Okay, and then you want to press add. Now the hostess is already added. Okay, next thing you want to do is add customers and their details. So you're going to click right here on add customer. And you would put in the customer name. And I usually leave this blank email, phone number, and address just because it doesn't really log it anywhere. It doesn't save it. It's not a database. Um, eventually, I'm assuming you'll get hood and house and if so, then in Hood and House, you would enter all the information and it actually keeps it like a database. So I don't spend the time doing that here. Okay, so now that we have my customer, there's my first customer. I actually named it customer name. Then you want to click here on add items. Okay, and then you just start adding items right in here. And I'm just going to pick something to add. Um, Let's see. I'm going to add a ring just to show you how to add a ring. So 1712, I'll have to press look up. Oh, okay, that's why. Right now, you'd have to put the size that the person is ordering. So if they're ordering a 7, then you would put the item number and then 07. And then click on look up, and you'll see that it picked the ring city girl in size 7. You could tell right there. And I want to add that to my customer selection. Okay, and then you see it added it to my customer selection. Now, if she picks something else, then you would type it in again, look it up. Um, okay, let me see. Let's try another number here. Okay, there it is again, and then you would add to customer selection. Okay, once you have the two things the person ordered, let's say that's all they ordered, then you say apply to customer order. Okay, now you see it pops up. There's my first customer. I named her customer name. She ordered two items, and here they are right here. Okay, now if you're adding another customer, you would click on add customer again, and you would do the same process all over again. Okay. And you see it lets me leave everything blank. For the hostess, it doesn't let me leave any of the information blank. But for the customer, it does. Again, I would add items, and I would look up. 
Just so you know, if a number starts with a two, those are necklaces. Um, three, if it starts with a three, those are earrings. Five are bracelets. Rings are one and watches are eight. So that's a good thing to know just in case you're ever double checking your work or um, needed to find out really quick what something is. That's a little trick to know. So let's say this is the only thing she she ordered, this customer, Frost. I would go, I would still have to click on add and then apply. Okay, and there are my two customers. There's my customer one, my customer two, and you would keep doing that for as many customers as you want. Okay, um, let me just go in here to edit. If you needed to edit the retail or the quantity or if there was a promotion, you would do it here. Um, purchase with purchase is the promotion we have actually going on this month that if they spend 75 they get a $50 item for $10. You would click here for that. Um, that would be done right here. So if you forget about that, you're, you're not actually submitting the order correctly. So you have to do that right here. Okay. So let's do save and next. Okay, this is just a warning that comes up. Now it's time for you to click on whether the hostess had her gift cards, okay? So I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes, she had her jewelry show on the date, and she had $100 in advance orders, and yes, she had three future bookings. And you see that these numbers over here went up. So let me uncheck it here. You see how it's telling you the hostess benefit is $39.60 and the retail is $132. But when I click on the gift cards, now it's saying that the hostess has $139.60 in free jewelry. Okay, so if you scroll down, this is where you would add half price items. So you would add that right here. So I'll do it just to have something in here. Let's say that your hostess wants to buy one item. You'll apply it. And there's her one item. It's showing us twirl. It says that um, now her hostess free items are here. And you see that that number went up because she purchased a half price item. Okay. So now I want to add my hostess free items. Okay. So I would add that here. And I would keep adding items until, um, I'm just going to get out of it right now. But I would keep adding items until I've, used up the 146.50 and you definitely want to use up all of that because if not it just gets lost okay all right so the next thing uh let's make believe you already finished promotion items um and if the customer wanted to be her own customer or i'm sorry if the hostess wanted to be her own customer you would add that there all right, so save and next. All right, so now um, you see here that you have your jewelry show retail is 155, your commission is 89, and you'll see everything that you've just put in your hostess free items, your hostess, I'm sorry, your hostess half price items, your hostess free items, your promotion. Um, regular price items, your customer, you'll just see everything. You'll kind of just double check your work, press next. Now you're at this page and this is your checkout. Your, I always leave it at standard. That's what's included. Um, if you need to edit the shipping address, you would do that here. If you have money in ProPay, you would literally just click right here and you can apply what you're about, you know, the money that you have inside of ProPay to pay for this, okay? Um, if not, then you would type in whatever credit card you're using. Um, the billing address is you. This is a summary of your retail sales, your promotion costs, everything. You can preview your, rest, your receipt. Then you just click here, press submit, and you are done. You've submitted your show and it is ready for processing. And that's it. It's pretty simple. I hope that clarified everything. Thanks.